Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good. This video, I come up with a smooth scroll mask alike interactions over sections like this using scroll speed effect and scroll transform effect that you can apply on any elements that exist on your website. So let's get into it. Well, uh, let's try to understand the basic principles of this uh, breakdown. So as you can see, uh, when I scroll up, there are some interactions going on with each element, right? For the, this one, to make our visual uh, a kind of a parallax effect. And uh, the second one is also same. But there are some interaction I also applied like to make feel good, like some aesthetic look based on the scenario or the projects you are doing based on the category as well. So as you can see, this tree text is coming a kind of a uh, smooth in interaction is in or you can say is in and is out as well. And also the text is moving a little bit slow with a scroll where when we are triggering right so and also the third section coming up within it so that means a lot of interactions going on at the same time but it feels good in our eyes that's the thing that's the way you can apply this type of uh, effects or interaction on your uh, website based on the taste or the environment and everything so there are something going on here for the first one if i click on it i applied scroll speed here and it's 50 percent that means when we scroll something usually the default scroll uh, is 100 percent but this one is 50 percent that means it reducing its scroll speed half than its usual scroll speed right and that's if I click on the second one, this scroll speed is actually 100%. That means it's keeping its scroll uh, speed default as it is. That is why when you scroll up, it's getting a little bit laggy or slower than the second one. That is why the second one is coming, but the first one taking a little bit time than usual. And that is why it seems like a parallax effect, but it's not. But we are applying it right and also our text the first one also using scroll speed that is 115 that means it is a little bit higher than the second uh, section that means this is how it looks see so there are some micro interactions going on based on our scroll but the second one this one you can see there are some scroll interaction as well here on our text let me click on it and you can see there are some scroll speed we applied that is 95 that means this one is 100 percent but inside its text this is 95 percent that means it is a slower than its actual section and that is why it's little bit coming down a little bit movement also this one has no effect such effect but i made this a little bit transition effect that means it will uh, animate something like this but that's a different case i'm not going to break down that that this already exists i just applied this for the stylized purposes and also the third one it has its scroll speed more than the second section that means it is 120 percent but the second one was 100 percent this one is 120 percent and if i click uh, on the transformation let me delete that first so you can understand that better so i just applied uh, 120 percent for the third one let's see how it will look second one is good but the third one you can see it's still not covered it's place but the third one is already come that's not we want right we want it to make it full in height as well then the third one will come accordingly but this is coming for earlier than this 
and that is why we need to apply some transform effect based on our scroll that's what I did if I click on it this one the from one I keep all the things same as it is but the Y offset like the vertical movement is 350 but it may differ from screen sizes or uh, sorry uh, based on your design and everything but you need to change that and check that again and again and again to achieve that final effect like let me check I applied 350 and that is why it's covering the whole screen and then the third part is coming that means it's not coming earlier than the when the second section is covering up right so I applied 350 and it's matched and if I uh, make it a uh, full screen I also can check and see this is working fine from my end and this is obviously gonna work for each screen sizes uh, greater than uh, 1 200 pixels like 1200 pixels you can say so you need to change that for the responsiveness you need to change the screen sizes and apply that again and again for the four screen sizes that's that's the basic practice you need to follow i am just using 1200 pixels for this one but it will work fine for the 900 pixels as well greater than 1200 but below 1200 you need to split that like something like three, uh, one, eight, 810 also for 390 as well it's up to you so this is this is a basic breakdown like how you can achieve that so for the third one if i see this one is 120 percent greater than the second one and if i apply that there will be some uh, mismatch breakdown on the uh, collision right that is why i applied transition uh, transform effect and made this uh, around 350 at its matched and that is why i think 350 is a good option for third section for my end and if i add another section then you need to apply uh, 130 for this one and the transform maybe uh, 450 or 500 you need to check that again and again and for the transition uh, effect you can use spring and default one no need to change that and i am also providing this remix file so can you can ch uh, check each element by yourself and understand this uh, basic principles i'm not going to start from scratch here and one thing you need to keep in mind like if we apply this scroll speed effect for our section then you will see some uh, let me show you you will see some uh, white gap beneath the last section if i scroll down see this one you you will see that there is no manual or there is no automatic solution for that you need to apply your brain to solve that and that's what i did i just made the main section 275 vh accordingly and it may change on your design you just need to change the value then uh, like i use three section that is why i am using 300 vh but 300 if i use 300 vh for scroll um speed and everything then the beneath section white part will come up and that is why i changed and reduced the uh, main height section from 300 to 275 to achieve that and i play i check that again and again like first i apply 280 and check if, if is, the, is there any white section available here again or not and if there it is uh, if there is and then i change I reduce uh, the height section again and again like let me show you like 280 if I do that see there's some white gap coming up and that is why I made that a little bit uh, small in height see it's gone and that's how you you have to apply this on your main section because i keep all the section inside this main frame right you need to keep that in mind i am not applying in our main desktop i am keeping this all in main side and there i am actually uh, applying all the logics and uh, like effects and everything there 
and inside main there are three section i am using you can also add another one it's up to you and follow the same method that i showed you there and that's it i hope you'll be able to create that i break down this one the section but not this one this is just a uh, component i made and also add attached prompts for each one like if you click on it i attached prompts here that is why you can ch uh, change each element from the from front side and i will create another video for that like how you can make your components dynamic but for this video this is uh, i'm not going to break down this one because it's already existed so yeah that's it and i also applied uh, an effect for text effect you can see this one is already existed there so you can check that and that's it and i hope you will be able to create that have a good time bye